I've literally just walked into the studio and thought it would be cool to do a little day in the life of a small upcycling business. Um, my partner is out doing the Snowden climb and I've pretty much finished all my tea towel dress orders so maybe I'll just do something today. I don't know. I might make myself something. I feel like I really want to make myself something. So I might do that today, but we'll be packing orders and answering emails, all that jazz. Um, yeah, so firstly, I need to get a cup of tea, I need to get my planner and plan the day because that's the only way I function. Whilst the tea is brewing, I have to show you this dresser that I upcycled. I stained it this mahogany red and me and my partner have filled it to the brim with souvenirs from Japan and I just think it's really cool so I really wanted to show you guys what we have done with it. Can we please appreciate how tidy I've kept this space? Considering before I used to just get my laptop, put it on my cutting table and just dump everything just on this table that was like over here. Look at it! Ta -da. Very happy. So I'm just gonna get my planner, which is this one here. Got my tea and we're just gonna plan the day. Let's do it. So on the list of things to do today, we have to pack orders, I need to fix a dress, I need to do, uh, I need to wash some of my textiles including tea towels and I'll show you what I bought yesterday from a charity shop. Amazing. Um, and then I, I think I've decided I'm not going to upcycle something today, I'm going to make a pattern for some trousers that I've, that's been on my mind for a couple of days now so I've got all this to do today. Yes. But today I'm going to start with fixing a dress. Okay, no, the first thing I need to do is tidy my pattern table because I've got scraps from a dress I've literally just finished and I can't work unless everything's tidy, so. So the first thing I need to do today is fix a tea towel dress. Not so much fix, alter. So the customer has tried it on and realized that they ordered a size too big. So um, I've not actually downsized a dolly dress before. So this is a first for me. <laughs> so what I've done is I've taken off the sleeves. I've unpicked the tea towel um, part, which is this this is the bodice here like that so I've unpicked this unpicked the sleeves um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare the size medium and large patterns and see if there's like a real difference in the bodice parts um, and the side parts if not then I don't really need to do too much I just need to take about an inch off each piece at the bust area but the whole bottom part is fine we can keep that as is so we're going to do that right now. Okay, so there's definitely a few tweaks that I need to make. Um, there is like a one and a half centimeter difference for the front. And then there really is like an inch, which is quite big. It's like four centimeters off each side. So I think I'm gonna have to deconstruct the, take the tea towel away from the side bodice, like here. And I think, yeah, I'll have to take off a, an inch off each part. Yeah. I think it's good to show um, this part of the business because I think social media can be quite deceiving. Like, oh, I've sold all this and it's going so well and everyone loves what I'm 
making, but you do occasionally get alterations, things to fix because it's secondhand textiles, so sometimes you have to repair the textiles because that does happen. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, the customer's been so sweet about it. Um, they're paying for postage, which I'm very grateful for. And yeah, so shouldn't take me too long, but I'm gonna do this. Is there a quick and easy way of getting, like undoing overlocker stitches? If anyone knows, please let me know because it is so painfully slow having to un having to unravel every individual stitch. <laughs> That took me so long to do. I made so many mistakes, but I've tried it on because we're basically very similar in bust. I think there's literally like a half an inch difference. So I've just tried it on to make sure it fits and thankfully it is perfect. And I'm so happy because the amount of effort it's taken is insane. But yeah, so this is the dress on. I'm just gonna do the tires up. Cause the issue was this part because there was like a four inch difference um, this was really gaping and this was like coming out so I've just um, fixed it I'm gonna do it in full length view so I'll show you <laughs> yeah perfect fit really happy with that so dummy alteration dummy emails um, dummy little tidy up so let's get on to packing orders first I'm gonna introduce you to someone This little Bonnie, she's about 10 weeks old, and we adopted her. Um, and she is an absolute gremlin, but I absolutely love her. She's so funny, and she's so small. Look how small she is! She's a little baby. Here she is, a little gremlin. I absolutely love her, but she is a handful. So it's about 10 to 11 and the sun has finally come out so I'm thinking I'm going to go for a little walk later um, and now it's time to pack all of these orders. So I've got some gorgeous orders that need to go out. So yeah, I've got quite a few. Oh god, yeah, a lot. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to pack these now. I'll show you the dresses that I am packing. And I am so aware how lucky I am that I get to create beautiful garments like nearly every day. So we've got this one, which was called Strawberry Basket. We have this one, which I need to get some content of just before I pack it. So I'll do that in a minute. And um, we've got these gorgeous dresses, this little butterfly dolly dress, and this cute National Trust puffin coastal tea towel dress. Um, Oh, I did this dress um, and she literally provided, so Moira provided pretty much all of these scraps. So there was loads of little squares um, and she wanted a very heavy patchwork dress um, with this gorgeous sleeve. <sighs> so yeah, if you want to supply your own fabrics, this is an option. And then the last few, we've got this one, which is probably one of my favorites. It's like this lovely pastelized yellows, purples, pinks. Oh, my kind of dress. Um, and then we have this, which was a supply your own lovely little mini joy dress. 
and then this one as well. And then we have a lot of ready to ship items to go with orders as well. So yeah, how exciting. Time to pack some gorgeous orders. Let's do it. <laughs> I've said it before, I don't have a very aesthetically pleasing packing area. Thanks. I have to show you this order, which I'm gonna call a mega order that I've got to pack. And it's for Colleen, and she's ordered this uh, sample midi skirt, tea towel skirt, which is really cute. It's a little different. It's got like this little tie waistband. Um, not only that, I've got this gorgeous dress to pack. This apron top in Sanderson fabric and <laughs> the little cat bag that I made in my latest YouTube video. I can't remember. So yeah, four items, four big items. So I need to go get my big box so I can pack these and get it sent off to America. Ah. Okay, there's all of the parcels. I 
just need to do all the labels which I'll do a bit later and then they can be sent off to the post office tomorrow. So I've just got back from lunch and it is now quarter to two so I'm nearly done for the day really so I've done all my parcels, done all my content um, so now I can go and make something for myself. So yesterday I did a half day and went to some of my local charity shops and I'm so happy that I did because I found these which are placemats ah! and I got so there's three of these three big squares and then there's six no four of these little uh, rectangle placemats and the print on them is so vibrant look at that um, so of course I had it and it was only £2.50 for all of them and then I went to a place called Chandler's which is like a little uh, DIY shop um, in Liverpool and I've bought some dye because I've got a tablecloth that I'm going to dye and I thought I could maybe <laughs> match them. I don't know, I'm not too sure what I'm going to make just yet. I was thinking maybe like a summer two piece if I can get the fabric or maybe just like a summery top and then I'll just dye some cotton to have some like matching trousers or shorts. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, love them. And I bought some other bits of fabric. There was this uh, green silky fabric, this black and blue check fabric, and then just this very small purple remnant. Um, so yeah, I'm going to need to wash all of them and figure out what to do with them. Right, um, I've got about, yeah, about two hours, an hour and a half before I want to take myself out for a little walk. So I think what I'm going to do is draft a quick pattern for these clown-like trousers that I want to make for myself. Um, tomorrow I plan to go to Abacar Fabrics in Liverpool and try and find some like linen or some mid-weight cotton and then eventually maybe make some patchwork versions um, and yeah and I ideally wanted to find like a nice green like maybe one of these kind of like dark greens yeah I don't know yet so I think I'm just gonna quickly draft up a pattern and then if I like it then I can make them tomorrow yeah let's do that <laughs> Yes, I sometimes use fabric scissors to cut paper. Sorry. <laughs> so I wasted. Let's do 40 inches. Yeah. Yeah, because I kind of want that like balloon ruffle shape thing. So yeah, 40 inches from waist to hem. Okay, so I should find this uh. okay. oh, I don't think I've even added enough inches. Oh, that's okay. Da -da -da -da. This is the pattern that I've created for the front leg. So I've just added like a bunch of excess here, extended it. Yeah. I think this will work because like, there's going to be like elastic at the ankle and it should have this little flared thing. I didn't want them like massive, I just wanted them with a little ruffle. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to be so, please don't judge me, I'm going to be so lazy. I'm not going to draft a pattern for the back 
for the back leg I'm literally just gonna place this on top and then mimic the flareness yeah that's really naughty I shouldn't do that but I'm pressed for time I'm not I just I just I just I'm lazy I'll be honest I'm just lazy I'm just gonna copy this onto the back leg and wing it see how that goes So this is basically what I've done. I've literally just placed the front pattern on top like this, on top of the back piece. And it looks like that. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's go and try and sew these up. Do I add pockets to it? Do I just add pockets and actually make them into like functioning trousers? Probably not to wear outside because the material is thin but they could be like new house trousers yeah go on yeah I'm gonna make some pockets I'm gonna make these into actual nice looking trousers let's do that Okay, so I've only just done the sort of like main part and the waistband. So I'm just gonna try them on and then probably just like mark where I wanna put the elastic for the bit on the ankle. Um, and please learn from me. I should have maybe done a proper pattern because a lot of the seams are uh, off. <laughs> like randomly there's like, like an inch worth of seam, but that's fine, it's gonna turn out great. So yeah, I'm gonna try these on and measure. Okay, these are looking quite good. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put like a little pin of where I want the elastic. Cause I want it to like rise like here. So I think, <laughs> it's hard to do it on yourself. Like there. All right, I need a pin. Yeah, that looks good. I've put a pin there. So now I'm just gonna stick some elastic in it and hem it and see how it looks. <laughs> I'm hoping you can see these. Yeah, I am beyond chuffed with them. Look at them. I think I just need to evenly space this little bit here but I I love them so much <laughs> oh my god sometimes it pays to just wing things oh, yes oh I absolutely love them oh, and you know what maybe I was being a bit too harsh with the fabric because they are very lightweight um, and as long as they're not too see-through I actually will probably wear these out but yeah, tomorrow I'm going to Abercon and I am actually going to get some like nice linen in this, I don't know if you can see, but in this kind of like dark green, I think. But yeah, I really like them. And even better, it's literally just gone past four o'clock. Hmm, this sky is telling me that I should probably not go out for a walk. That is me done for today. I feel like I've been quite productive. I've done orders, I've fixed an order. Um, I've made some, well, a snazzy pattern for the trousers so I can go and make some proper pairs tomorrow. Um, yeah, really please, I'm not gonna go for a walk. I'm just gonna stay indoors and just play with my cats. Thank you so much for watching this little day vlog. I will be doing more, so keep an eye out and subscribe, like, comment, if you can yeah 
I will be having another tea towel drop probably at the end of June. So if you want any of those updates, then you can sign up to my newsletter, which is on my website, or you can go follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much, and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.